Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Prediction. Obviously it's time for the second lot of teams to play their games and um, obviously because we're still in the winter break for the clubs that didn't have their winter break last weekend. Um, so I'm going to go back to all these um, results previously for all these clubs. So... But anyway, guys, let's get this video underway, guys. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, the link for my merch down in the description below. So go feel free to check out after watching this video. But um, anyway, there's a lot to talk about. So guys, anyway, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. <laughs> So the first game we're going to talk about is Wolverhampton Wanderers versus Leicester City. Um, Leicester joined 2-2 at home to Chelsea. Um, trying to sum that up on a Leicester City point of view. I think that's a good point, if I'm all honest. I think Chelsea went 2-1 up as well. Um, Wolves um, joined 0-0 away to Manchester United. That sort of result um, could really, you know, probably help Wolverhampton Wanderers come the end of the season. But look at the league stacks here. It could have been with a victory they really could have done with. Um, but anyway, let's go over to the form table. Leicester City have picked seven points up at their last five games. Wolverhampton Wanderers have picked up five points from the last five games. So form wise, Leicester probably just got in a bit more confidently. Um I think this game's gonna be a big game, but I'm gonna go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Burnley. Um Southampton losing four 0 away to Liverpool. Not really too uh, be damn hard there if you're a Southampton fan, um in my opinion. Uh, obviously, all what your opinion is, please feel free to put your opinions down in the comments below. Um, Burnley joined 0-0 at home to Arsenal. Um, yeah, again, that could have possibly been done with the three points for Burnley. Obviously, it didn't happen. Um, let's go over to the form table. Southampton have got a great nine points within the last five games. Uh, that is their second... Defeat in five games. Um, Burnley pick, only picking up seven points in their last five games. So go forward. I'm going to go for the Saints win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Southampton win. My next one is Norwich versus Liverpool. Liverpool beating Southampton 4-0 at home. Norwich drawing 0-0 away to Newcastle. I think that could be a great point for Norwich, but it, they're still quite away from safety. Um, that's their fifth point out of five games for Norwich. Um, Liverpool obviously done a, still got the great 15 points. Um, I'm really am interested in this game because are Liverpool going to hit the ground running like they were before they came off for the winter break? Um, but this game job is ever so slightly interesting. So as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Tottenham. Um, Villa loses 2-1 away to Bournemouth. Tottenham beating Man City 2-0 at home. There's a little bit of VAL controversial in that game. Um, one, they gave a penalty. Two, I can't remember what player was, got done for diving. Um, I think it's Sterling. But you look at that overall, and 
I think Tottenham just edged it slightly. You know, okay, Villa have got seven points out of the last five games. Um, Tottenham, you've got basically the same sort of stats, seven points out of the last five games. But I'm going to go for a Tottenham win. And I'm going to go for a 1 nil Tottenham win. My next one is Arsenal versus Newcastle. Arsenal drawing 0 nil away to Burnley. Well, probably from an Arsenal perspective, probably just slight disappointed as well. Um, Newcastle drawing 0 nil at home to Richards. Slightly disappointed day for Newcastle as well. Um, Newcastle have picked up six points out of the last five games. Um, Arsenal have got seven points out of the last five games. Um, but Arsenal on unbeaten run at the minute, but I think it's going to be a draw. And I'm going to go for a very scrappy, scrappy nil nil scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend, obviously, it's not a full fixture, um, is Chelsea versus Manchester United. Um, Man United joined nil nil away to Wolverhampton. Chelsea joined two two away to Leicester. Um, you know, not a lot to reflect on. Um, Chelsea did win the transfer window. I was quite surprised by that. There's a few rumours about outgoings, but no one went out. Um, you know, likes of jury and that instead at Chelsea. Um, but Chelsea have picked up. Six points out of the last five games. Man United have only picked up four points out of the last five games. I think Chelsea are going to win this one. And I'm going to go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big crop and you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.